Hi guys, this is Maddie from TotallyMaddie.com. I the, holi the holidays are here and we are baking. And today was a great day to bake, so I thought I would share that with you. Today I'm making this amazing chocolate chip cookies that I love. They're my favorite chocolate chip cookies. They're called pudding cookies. And I shouldn't say chocolate chip cookies because they're pudding cookies and you can really make them with anything that you would like. You can do any kind of mix. So today we're making chocolate chips with the pudding cookies, okay? But I have made them with like chocolate, chocolate pudding with like mint chocolate chips or chocolate pudding with uh, raspberry uh, flavored chocolate chips. I have made them white, you know, the regular white pudding with like the peppermint. It's so amazing. It's so good. Like the crushed peppermint. So good. So let me just give you the basic, basic recipe and then we can do all kinds of variations and that will be your choice. So here we go. We're going to make this wonderful chocolate chip cookie. So let me tell you the recipe really quickly. Okay. And I don't want to mess it up. So I'm going to make sure that we have it correctly. Okay. So here we go. This is the pudding cookies. It's one cup of butter that has been softened, okay? A fourth cup of white sugar, three fourth cup of brown sugar, one egg, believe it or not, just one egg, two and a fourth cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and two small packages of pudding boxes, which of your choice. I'm using vanilla pudding boxes for this one. And then you need chocolate chips or whatever it is that you're mixing. So in my case, I'm using the two vanilla uh, small boxes of pudding and I'm using chocolate chips. Okay, so let's get started because they're amazing and my family loves them. And I'm freezing a bunch of them. They're great for freezing. They're great. They're just amazing. They're like chewy. They're so good. And anyway, so I just wanted to share with you. So let's go ahead and get started. I hope you can see that. Okay, so in here, I have my two sticks of butter, okay, because one stick is half a, half a, a cup, so we want two sticks of butter, okay? So here we go. I know there are a lot of butter on this one. So I hope you can see it. Let me bring you a little closer. All right, here we go. I think you can see it. You don't need to see me. You want to see the cookies. So let's go ahead and mix the sugar. So again, we have here a fourth cup of white sugar and three-fourths cups of brown sugar. So we're going to mix it right here. All right. Let's put that right there. Let's mix the sugar good because you want to cream that, okay? It's going to be loud. Okay. And it's so easy, but I'm just using my regular, regular, regular mix. Alright? So we're going to cream these together. So really easy. Really easy. just one egg. So delicious. You guys are going to love these cookies. You should really try them and make tons of them. Okay? So here we go. call for these but I always add these. This is vanilla. This is um, real vanilla and the one that I like is Mexican vanilla. Mexican vanilla gives it a very nice smell to it and a very good taste. I love Mexican vanilla. So here we go. I'm just going to put a little bit just to increase that flavorness. So I always add that. That's a little secret. Don't tell anybody. So let's do this today. So the Mexican vanilla gives it a really nice smell too. So let's go ahead and add our one teaspoon of baking soda and let's add also the half teaspoon of salt. You need to put a little salt because your butter uh, is unsalted. If your butter was salted, you would add the salt. Okay, so let's add that. Okay, I think 
know we're getting started. Our oven's ready. He's waiting for this delicious cookie. So let's add the two boxes of vanilla pudding. All right. So here we go. Getting getting more excited as we go. So let's add this. Everything is mixed together. We are finished with the blender because we don't want the blender to overwork a little too much. So now what we're going to do is that we are going to add the chocolate chip cookies. Like I told you, this is just a basic, basic recipe. Um, so we, I chose to use the vanilla pudding with the chocolate chip cookies, but we have a lot of variations. So we're going to add the, and don't be afraid, it kind of looks a little, the dough kind of looks a little dry. But don't be afraid because it's gonna work out at the end, okay? There, remember we have the, the we have the whole cup of butter, we have the um, the eggs in there, and we have the um, so it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. So anyway, it's gonna be fine. We have the sugars, we have everything. So let's incorporate these. It says to use a whole package of um, of chocolate chips. I have never really used a whole package of the chocolate chips. So let's just go ahead and incorporate these. Let's see a little bit. Try to go a little bit lower so you can see me. You know, I wish I could have a couple of cameras around, but these cookies are amazing. These cookies are awesome to make with the kids, guys. They're so good to make with the kids. So these cookies are great. Just bake with your family. Teach your children really good skills like cooking and you know. So I have never really used a whole thing, and that was this was no need. This was probably a little bit more than half of the packet. That's what it was. So anyway. This takes a lot of muscle. So we have here the chocolate chips. Again, if you want to, one of my favorite ones is to use the two packages of vanilla of chocolate pudding and then put um, put um, peanut butter um, peanut butter chips in it. It's just so amazing. Or the one with the with the candies chocolate chip mix. Those are delicious too. So I think we got it here. So. You can even split the recipe if you want. Do you want to use half of this recipe and make it with some kind of chocolate chips? And then the, another day that I have recipe incorporate something, you can totally divide these and make a different thing. Now, here's the thing about the cookies. They don't spread. They stay 
very close to the shape that you made them so they don't spread so make sure that when you do that you take that in consideration so I have here I have here put pipe with parchment paper on my on my pan that's just something that I always do I think it prevents them from burning so we are going to do this we are going to shape these cookies and then we're going to cut we're going to cook these at 375 for eight to ten minutes then I take them out wait a little bit on the pan and then I transfer it to another pan to continue that cooling process a little bit and then I put it on a cooling rack so let me just show you in a second how I do it so I'm going to put them in here okay so good so good Okay. And don't be afraid of compacting them a little. Really, don't be afraid of that. I'm just using these for measuring purpose because I want my cookies to. I want my cookies to be the same. But don't be afraid of trying to like squeezing them a little. I just want to make sure that all the cookies pretty much look the same, so they cook the same. So I just kind of squeeze them a little bit. And I usually put. Oh yeah, that's a little too big. I usually put like um, four cookies in each row. That's usually how we do it. Remember, they don't spread. Okay, so let's go ahead and do these. All right. So here you go, guys. We have made them. So I made four in a row, and believe me, they're not going to spread. So you should be okay. This is goes in the oven, 375 for eight to ten minutes, and then we're gonna show you the results of how this cookie turned out. All right. So, good luck! <laughs> so here they are in the oven. They're going to cook at 375 for 8 to 10 minutes. And we're going to check on them in a little bit. Stick around! Okay, so this is the part that I wanted to tell you. So the cookies are done. They cook for 10 minutes at 375. They, remember how I told you that I can do four in a row and they don't really spread? This is what happens. I hope that you can see and let me see if you can do it a little bit closer. So they really didn't. They just kind of like stayed together. So you can make these cookies as small or as large as you want to. So if you want to make mini ones, like, like little, little, little round balls in and then just bake them, you can totally do that. So, because they don't really spread, so they stay like that. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to cool them off a little bit, my favorite part. So alright, the cookies are done, they bake at 375 for um, 8 to 10 minutes. I actually baked mine for 10 minutes and um, they're ready and they're cooling off. I let them cool off in the baking rack for like maybe 3 minutes, 5 minutes a little bit just, just because cookies continue cooking after you take them out of the oven. So you want to like let them set a little bit more but I wanted to show you these so this is a, this is a pudding cookie so they're going to be in my cooling rack and my family is going insane so they better cool off fast well here it is so there's a pudding cookie okay again they don't spread so you can make them as small as uh, you know as small as you want to so if you have a big party make them really little for like a hot cocoa bar that would be really amazing just little tiny cookies so here you go this are pudding cookies they are super moist so if you're looking for a crisp cookie you're not going to get it here but they're like Amazing, look at how moist that is. Can you see that? Oh, they're delicious. They're so good. Don't tell my family I ate one already, okay? Thank you so much for joining me. And if you want, um, if you want to know how I pack these, go to totallymanny.com and I will share a video of how to present these for presents. So, um, I am going to do that. And uh, so I finished eating all my cookies. I'm eating, drinking hot cocoa in this very snowy day. So, anyway, have a good day. Bye bye.